Here is the Goodman. It is like just a little over 50 degrees right now and it is running in heat mode. And it's like really weird. I do not think it is freezing up. In fact, I'm 99% sure it is not freezing up, but there's like, um, there's like these weird bands along the, um, inside of the condenser. I think it's just something with the, um, with the condenser. I am 99.9% .9 sure it is not freezing up because it's not even below 50 degrees right now. thermostat is set to 73 degrees right now and for some reason um, even though it was according to weather.com um, I typed in my grandmother's zip code and it was like 52 degrees so that's not exactly defrost weather and not exactly weather when I think heat pumps should need their auxiliary heat but according to the thermostat the auxiliary heat was on and then it shut off there's like, there's two little light, little um, LED lights on the thermostat. The green one lights up when the auxiliary heat's on, and the red one lights up when the heat pump is not working and the um, emergency heat is, is, um, is the only thing running. But yeah, there's nothing actually wrong with the heat pump. It's doing a damn good job of, um, heating the house. My grandmother just thinks it's really, really noisy, and she actually sets the heat down to 60 at night to keep the thing from turning on and waking her up. And this house is very well insulated, so it doesn't really make that much difference. So it's going to get down to like 42 degrees tonight. Um, I'm hoping that it'll go into defrost because um, these Goodmans tend to go into defrost at intervals regardless of whether or not they need to defrost or not. So, and also if anyone knows, please tell me. It looks like someone like pushed the condenser in. Yeah, if anyone knows what those um those um bands on the uh, condenser that look like frost are about, please tell me because I do not think it's freezing up. All right, I will be back. Out. Here is the air handler.
I do not think it is that noisy. It's actually been noisier. Um, and then there is the Trianco propane boiler that um, isn't, it's like not hooked up right now. There's like no propane supply for it right now. And it is linked in with the Goodman right there. And I do not know if this was installed in the house when it was built or if one of the previous owners before my grandmother had it installed later. Might have actually been installed at the same time as the, the Goodman. And the um, water heater is from the same time as the Goodman as well. It is a ream. 80 gallon electric water heater manufactured in August of 2004. Let's see that well. And there is an energy guide sticker on top of the boiler that I haven't looked at yet. Yeah, this thing actually appears to be fairly new. Expansion tank is on the other side. Yeah, this thing is definitely um, newer. I just don't know how old it is. My grandma bought the place in 06. Um, and the heat pump and the water heater were both two years old when she bought the house. The um, energy guide sticker was even still on the heat pump when she when she bought it. And that's how I know the Goodman is a 10 seer. It has the, it says um, compare the energy efficiency of this heat pump with others before you buy. Yeah, this thing appears to be fairly new. Have other videos of it on YouTube somewhere. There is the um, refrigerant line. Hot. And my grandmother has um, has the um, air conditioning guy coming out to clean it next week. Hmm. Wonder if that thing that was anything um, interesting. I think that was just a water heater. Let's go back up and take a look. Damn it! I missed a defrost cycle.
actually missed a defrost cycle. I know that sound anywhere.